Letters from Los Angeles is an exhibition that distinguishes Los Angeles and it's a unique use of typography. Text, numerals are pretty much evident in modern art since the late 19th century when the French poster artists like Toulouse-Lautrec and, and uh, Jules Charest and Steinlin were, were dealing with the cafe scene and advertising and that was unique in all of modern art with the invention of the poster. But Los Angeles artists have done something rather extraordinary, moving well beyond what the Russian constructivists, the Bauhaus, the Surrealists, and even pop artists used in terms of uh, typography in art. LA artists have been merely depicting their landscape. Anyone growing up in LA couldn't help but see a landscape populated by billboards, by graffiti going back long before the word graffiti and art were really used in the same sentence. Other cities are known internationally for their iconic architectural structures, the Eiffel Tower, the Acropolis, Big Ben in London, the Empire State Building, but Los Angeles is known for signage. The Hollywood sign, 20th Century Fox, MGM, uh, so on and so forth. So it's not unusual to think in terms of artists of Los Angeles seeing letters as merely another extension of their landscape as an artistic device. Sometimes these works are inspired by literature, but in fact, most often by the branding that we have subliminally become so much in sync with. So you have artists like Ed Ruscha, who's been known for his great you know, depiction of the Hollywood sign, but all of these artists in this show are remarkable in that they are distinctively Los Angeles. And whether you're looking at the uh, uh, calligraphy of some of the artists here making uh, political statements, pop statements, ironic statements, and some very serious questions about art and racial profiling, etc. It's a powerful show, and yet there's a levity to it as well. We see the works of Hans Burkhardt from the early 80s, uh, reacting to his witnessing graffiti in the streets of Switzerland, and he comes back to Los Angeles and makes this powerful body of work on the graffiti that uh, was evident in Switzerland. So LA artists are both responding to political, social events, as well as merely the design of their city. <laughs> These two works by Ed Ruscha are kind of an interesting connection to this exhibition. Not only is this Letters from Los Angeles, but here, Ed Ruscha takes his most famous image, this, uh, the shape of the Hollywood sign, and makes a social commentary about Los Angeles. The titles of these works deal with the decaying of a monument. You see the decay and then the further decay. What it also distinguishes them and makes it very strongly relatable to this exhibition is that they are indeed letter size. So we have both letters and the size of a letter envelope. So we see this kind of ironic, kind of pop idea and the way words and ideas connect. While the exhibition deals a great deal with calligraphy and printed matter, we also see the unique characteristics of the different artists involved. Here we see a very, very painterly work by Hans Burkhardt. Burkhardt was the longest established artist of Los Angeles, having come here in 1937 and to his final paintings of 1993. But here you see how Burkhardt stands apart, even from the norm, in what is uh, the most painterly work in this exhibition. Thick impostoed surface, deeply layered, and we see throughout this exhibition of artists addressing typography in their own unique way. And certainly Burkhardt stands apart in many respects.
Another aspect of this exhibition is that it brings together some of the most well-known artists of Los Angeles, in addition to those that have had extraordinarily rich careers who have impacted so many other artists. Take example the work of Scott Greiger, who has been an influential teacher, painter in Los Angeles, and uh, deserves far greater attention. Uh, we have works of Richard Shelton, another teacher, another active painter whose influence has been significant among a great many young artists. Alexis Smith in the exhibition has been celebrated internationally. Her public works are extremely well known and has been the subject of uh, retrospective at the Whitney Museum as an example. So the exhibition brings together both young artists who have had a significant impact as well as those hugely celebrated and now iconic figures in contemporary art.